All right, here we go. Ready? Ready? Now, I will, I will tell you, you're probably going to want to write this down. So, you guys did a really nice job. Help me remember what you did here. As you increase the mass, what happened to the distance from the center? It got smaller. It decreased. Now, that's weird for us because that's a trend to the right and down, where most of the stuff we've seen this year has trended to the right and up. Yes. True? Yeah. So your points probably look something like this, where you had maybe a point here, and then a point here, and then a point here, and maybe a point here. Whoa. Oh my God. Is that what your data looked like? That's what you got. Yeah. Okay? Because I, I mean, I was also looking at your data, and I'm yeah. familiar with this. Now, the question is, what's going on here? Rational function. Could this be a linear function? No. No. Why not? Because it's not a linear function. <laughs> so, there, there are two things, okay? One, it itself doesn't look like this line is straight. Two, if you were to connect the points, you would see that the slope even between them isn't constant. I actually think that there's another major issue here. Even if I were to graph it like that. That is so strange. That was a perfect line. And I'm, I'm getting better as you're doing that. Um, what does this mean that there are blue values to the left of the vertical here? There's outlines? No, like, like in terms of the, the axis. Well, you can't touch the axis. Yeah. That was funny. Can mass be negative? No. No. So George ran that one. What about if this crosses the horizontal axis? What does that mean? Yeah. You can't, you can't get the thing to balance if you're on the other side of the center. Right? So does this make sense to us? No. Also, I have another problem. Like right here... What would that mean? The mass is zero, the distance is that. Did, and does that make any sense? No. If your mass was zero, could the thing balance? No. 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 So um, I think that this actually leads to a larger understanding. So if we assume that the trend is this way, okay? if we assume that the trend is this way, does this look like something you've seen before? Yes. It actually looks like two things you may have seen from your math class. What is one of them? Well, it could be a parabola, but that would mean it went down and then came back up over here. Is there a reason that we would think that it was coming back up? No. Okay. Jacob used a word. Say it again. It was really Charlie. I just said it loud. Charlie? Okay. So, I actually think this is okay here because I know that there's a limitation with the meter stick, but as the mass increases, what happens to the distance from the center? It gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Can you ever get to the center? No. So, this blue line can never touch the black. It approaches <coughs> asymptotically. That, to me, makes a lot of sense. Okay? But could this be an exponential curve? Yeah. No. All right? It may be exponential decay. I don't care. But in exponential decay, you have a value on the axis to start, and then it decays from there. Does that make sense to us here? No. No, because you can't have zero mass. Okay? So what that means is that this here approaches asymptotically. Gets closer and closer, but doesn't touch. This also approaches asymptotically. Gets closer and closer, but doesn't touch. Okay, it is not a log. A log starts down here and goes this way. I think it's a rational. This is called an inverse variation. Okay. This is called an inverse variation, and in general, has this form. So 
the exponent is negative 1, okay? The exponent is negative 1, which means put it in the bottom and the exponent is 1. Does this seem vaguely familiar to you from your math class? No. Um, actually, in your math classes, you would have seen it like this. If you had all four quadrants, you would have seen something that looked like this. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Yeah. Right? You've seen that before? Yeah. Um, some people call it a, what was it, rational, rational function? function. That's what I said yeah. Yeah. I've never heard that terminology, um, but that's just because I had, I had, I had high school math 34 years ago, so. Oh my just like the normal force? No, this one. Wait, so is this the same kind of normal force situation? Or no. You've actually never heard of it. That is not a terminology that they used when I was in school. So you're not just lying like that? Not this time, no. <laughs> All the time to you. Oh, Whoa! Don't admit so that. Don't say it louder. You're a trusted adult. That's not fair. Be proud. Of your I'm what's lies. called an unreliable narrator. Be proud of your lies. Okay. You're terrible. So, when you analyze it with Desmos, okay? When you analyze it with Desmos, you're gonna do y1 squiggle a over x1. We have to add the X one. Oh yeah, we do have to add the X one. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because it's like that was a stupid question. No, it wasn't. It was just the question was in here. Alright, you guys know what to do? Yeah, I'm sorry. Alright, back at it, go. You have to put the exponent on that? Uh, you don't have to. Sometimes the exponent might not be one. In this case I think it's one, but you'll have to see.